Aerotherm, the revolutionary alternative to conventional insulation. This video will guide you through the key stages of an aerotherm application. From the initial survey, to preparation, to applying the paste, to sanding down to a smooth finish. If you have competent plastering skills and the correct tools, then this video will help you achieve a high quality aerotherm installation. Aerotherm is a heat reflective coating which is applied to internal walls and ceilings at a depth of only one millimeter. The advanced technology behind Aerotherm enables the coating to absorb radiant heat and quickly warm the surface of the walls to the room temperature. Excess heat is then reflected back into the room rather than letting it absorb into the building structure. This reactive process creates a thermal stability which helps to balance temperature differentials and create a pleasant thermal comfort for the occupants, whilst using up to 35% less energy. The advantage of warm walls is that the conditions for condensation to occur are minimized, so the chances of mold growth are much reduced in the typical cold spots of a room, such as window reveals and corners. To successfully apply aerotherm to a high quality finish, it is important that the correct tools are used. The key items are, a 6mm notched trowel and a large flexible float trowel, a plasterer's mixing wheel and a sponge back pad with fine finishing paper attached. To help provide a quicker and easier installation we have produced a specialised aerotherm trowel which combines the notches and smooth edge into one tool. We have also developed an electric sanding solution which minimises dust and aids the sanding process. The first stage of the application is to apply the aerotherm base coat, but before you do this, you must ensure that the substrate is suitable for aerotherm. The substrate should be dry and not suffering from damp or external water ingress. A moisture meter is recommended to indicate if a wall has excessive moisture within it. At the time of application, it is also important to ensure the surface temperature is above 10 degrees Celsius and the room humidity is below 60%. Ensure there is no existing lining or wallpaper applied as this will need to be removed first as will any trace of mould. The surface should be in a good solid state, free from dust, grease or flaking paint. If your walls are not flat then it may be preferable to skim over with a conventional plaster first as using aerotherm as a filler for poor or rough surfaces will use additional material. The Aerotherm base coat is a specially formulated primer for use with Aerotherm. It incorporates the same binders as the Aerotherm itself, so creates a strong bond which allows the Aerotherm to dry at the correct consistent rate. The base coat will need to be fully dry and not just become tacky in order for the Aerotherm to easily adhere to the wall during application. A minimum of three hours is necessary and for porous surfaces such as fresh plaster, two coats will be required. If a new high quality finish is preferred on external corners, then consider attaching a corner bead using either plaster or aerotherm itself. To prepare the base for the trowel application, mix the whole container with the mixing wheel to ensure the binder has blended evenly throughout the paste. For smaller tubs, a bucket trowel may be more appropriate. To begin with, add a very small amount of water and gently work the mixing wheel through the paste. Minimise the amount of air being mixed into the aerotherm. If you use electric mixing tools, they will mix air into the product which will then appear as pinholes on the surface when it is dried on the wall. Keep adding small amounts of water until a smooth creamy consistency is reached. You can begin to get a good idea how wet it is by how easily the wheel spins. The more experienced you become with the product, the more comfortable you will be with the wetter consistency. The key point is to ensure that you do not add too much water and achieve a workable paste that you can comfortably apply with. The final consistency will depend on your skill level and personal preference. If the paste is too dry, the ridges may curl up away from the surface when applying it. Applying the aerotherm with a 6mm notched trowel held at a 30 degree angle will create a series of 2mm ridges. The ridges can be applied in either direction but it helps to be consistent. 
Ensure all edges and gaps are troweled over to create 100% complete covering. Otherwise, low spots will be evident when the product is floated over. Starting at the top corner of your preferred side, apply each section of Aerotherm in columns of appropriate widths depending on your speed of application. Do not leave the trowel lines exposed before moving on to the next column as the material will dry and be difficult to float over. You should always work to the wet edge when starting your next column. When floating over, the main difference from conventional skimming is to remember to slow down. With Aerotherm, there is usually a 20 minute working time, so you have time to slowly follow the trowel lines, whilst applying a little light pressure. A useful tip is to put the handboard down before you float over, so you can focus on keeping all the Aerotherm on the wall and not scraping any back off onto the trowel. You should also not try to stretch the material further than the aerotherm area you applied it to, as this may thin out the coating. For internal corners, make sure you butt up against the edge to ensure that you get a full coating an angle trial may take it out again. When floating over, the 2mm ridges will be pressed down into the gaps to create a consistent 1mm depth. Only float over the aerotherm a few times, as it is not possible to float aerotherm to a perfectly flat finish. As long as the wall has a consistent 1mm coverage, then be prepared to leave float lines and inconsistencies in the product and move on to the next section the sanding and filling process will easily create a smooth surface. A clean, large, flexible floating trowel will, however, help to minimise any float marks. For ceilings, gravity can cause the aerotherm trowel lines to curl down off the surface, so it may be easier to float on first. Then use the notched edge to create the trowel lines. Depth gauges are a useful tool to check you have applied a consistent 1mm coating. Aerotherm usually takes 24 hours to dry if the room is warm and ventilated. Fan heaters and dehumidifiers can help with this process. If sanding is attempted before Aerotherm is adequately dry, the Aerotherm will pull up with the sander and tear off. Once dry, scrape any excess material to corners and edges. Any noticeably high ridges can also be carefully scraped back. The aerotherm can then be gently sanded down to remove any high spots and trowel lines. A minimum 180 grit paper is required for this process to ensure you do not create scratch marks in the material. The sponge pad is very important in this process to ensure you do not kink and score the surface when following any undulations in the wall. Please ensure you wear a suitable dust mask to prevent inhaling any of the fine dust particles. Goggles are especially important when attending to ceilings. Brush off dust from the wall and the sander as you go to prevent any buildup of aerotherm which may cause further marks. Brushing also helps to show up any pinholes which might need filling. An alternative method which also helps to reduce dust residue on the floor and other surfaces is the electric sanding solution. This particular equipment has a sponge back pad and sensitive rotation speeds to avoid excessive sanding. Please contact Aerotherm for details as to where you can source appropriate sanding equipment. To achieve a consistent smooth surface, a compatible filler can be used to fill in any remaining indentations or pinholes. It is possible to use Aerotherm again, but as it is water-based, then it may shrink back slightly. You can either choose to spot fill or go over the whole area and scrape back any excess. Either way, ensure you closely check over the whole area. Creating a smooth, flat substrate, applying the base coat as per the preparation guidelines and ensuring aerotherm is properly mixed with no air infiltration 
will greatly reduce the amount of filling required. Once complete, you can then quickly go over the whole area again with fine finishing paper. To finish the installation, smooth down internal corners with additional aerotherm or caulking and simply clean any aerotherm residue off skirting boards and other surfaces with a sponge and warm water. Before paint decoration, aerotherm should then be left to fully dry by heating and regularly ventilating the room. Drying times will depend upon prevailing climactic conditions together with the moisture content of the substrate that aerotherm has been applied to. A minimum of one week, with a recommendation timescale of two weeks, is normally required before final decoration is undertaken. As aerotherm is an absorbent surface, we recommend the use of quality trade paints to achieve a consistent painted finish. Retail paints can be used, but we would first recommend diluting it in line with the manufacturer's instructions and applying first to a test area. Aerotherm produces a semi-hard surface finish. In most circumstances, this will prove sufficiently adequate and if invertently knocked or scraped, the effect on performance will be negligible. Any cosmetic surface damage can be easily repaired using either a filler or additional aerotherm. When decorated, you will not be able to see where aerotherm has been installed. That is until you touch the wall and feel how warm it is. Aerotherm, the practical and effective alternative to conventional internal wall insulation.